Hey folks, welcome to CodeH. In this session, we will see how to do event source mapping using Lambda and the SQS. So we will create a Lambda function and the SQS. Lambda function will do a long polling on the SQS and SQS will return the messages in the batch. So let's get started. In the AWS management console, let's search Lambda. And we will create a lambda function. Let's click on the create function. Let's give it a name lambda demo for SQS. We will select runtime as a Python and create a function. Okay, till the time we will create SQS as well. So let's click on the create queue. Give it a name SQS or Lambda. Okay. We will keep all other options as a default one. And let's click on the create queue. Our queue is created. Now let's go back into the Lambda. As usual, we will print the event so that we can see the message pulled from the SQS. Let's deploy it. Okay. Now what we will do, just click on the add trigger. And you can see there are a lot of options to add as a trigger. We will select SQS. Here you can see the batch size, which denotes number of records in each batch to send to the function. So here 10 records going to send in the batch from the SQS queue. Let's click on the add button. So just select our lambda function name here. Let's click on the add. Now you can see here there is a one error. What it says, the provided execution role does not have permission to call receive message on SQS. That is lambda function don't have permission to call read message on the SQS queue. So we will have to add a permission to call uh, SQS, right? So let's go back into our Lambda function and we will add a permission there. So we'll just go into configuration in the permission. You can see there is a role name, just click on this role. And let's attach the policy. Let's search SQS. And you can see there is AWS Lambda SQS queue execution role. So let's add it. Okay, so our policy for the SQS added here. Let's go back into the Lambda. Let's refresh this page. And you can see here policy for SQS added and it is allowing to call receive message. So let's go back into the configuration. Let's click on the add. Now it is added. Right. Now we will test it. So just go back into SQS. Let's send the message. Test message for Lambda. We will also add key value pair. Let's add lecture on Lambda. Okay, let's click on the send message. Now let's go back into our Lambda function. Click on the monitor. Just click on the CloudWatch log so that we can see the logs. Click on the log stream. So here you can see we got the log for the records. Now you can see here, we have message attributes, right? In this, we have key value pair that we have added, that is lecture and the Lambda. We also have a body in which we have a message that we sent from the SQS, right? So this is how we can do event source mapping using Lambda and the SQS. 
okay that's it for the lecture thanks for watching the video